everybody, David Burns, the 60 second beekeeper. Today I want to show you how to make the application of Midaway quick strips in your hive. It's formic acid, a very effective way to control mites in your colony. And uh, it kills all stages of mites where oxalic acid only kills, well, oxalic doesn't kill mites below the caps where this application of the formic acid does. So I want to show you how to do it, but let me give you some precautions first. You need to wear a respirator and I'll be putting on that shortly. And then you need to wear nitrile gloves. The, the respirator you wear should not be a paint respirator. It needs to have the organic vapor cartridge in it. So that will filter out if you get a, a whiff of the, of the acid. Protect your lungs. You don't want to breathe this product in. You can get those at farm stores. Use safety in all applications of these types of acids to kill mites. So let's get into it. I'm going to show you how I use my two inch spacer to give the pads a little bit of breathing room. Let's do it. Hi, I'm Rex Cooper from Charleston, Illinois. I'm a new beekeeper and here's a 60 second beekeeper in three, two, one. Uh, some of you feel like I never want to use anything on my hives. I want them to be all natural. I don't want to have to use chemicals. And yet, um, you'll put off and all these other uh, sunscreen and bug spray on your children so that they don't get ticks and mosquitoes on them. Well, our, our bees deserve something. Am I a chemical guy? No, I don't like chemicals either. But I don't like parasites killing my bees either. And if you do nothing for mites, what you're doing, you're spreading potentially 100,000 or more mites to other people's beehives because you're growing mites by not treating or, or by practices that's not um, eliminating them. And all those mites are flying out on your bees, on your drones, and they're going to flowers, and a flower is a bus stop for mites to get on somebody else's bees. So... Um, Use your wisdom. I have four methods that I use in my other videos that doesn't involve chemicals that you can use that may help reduce mites. But if you get to the place where you can't do it naturally, then you might want to consider something like formic acid. All right. Hey, we got some bloopers for you. Stick around. Okay, so here we go. The first thing I'm going to do is separate the two deeps. All right. Let's stop. That's not going to work. Hi. I'm Rex Cooper from Charleston, Illinois, a new beekeeper, and here is the second, or <laughs> <laughs> Second might be a little bit. <laughs> hey everybody, David Burns here, the 60 second beekeeper. In 60 seconds today, I wanna show you, let's start that over. Okay. 